Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. This is Christopher Draves, and this is Matt Weiss. Weiss. Good job. <laughs> he got it. Matt White. Well, Not the well, former well. Admiral. <laughs> See, I got so many doppelgangers, I don't even know what to do with them. Alright, but our show is still doing the, uh, we're still supporting um, the uh, Milwaukee Strong Initiative. Uh, it is a support, throwing our support to the uh, five families who lost loved ones in the tragic Miller uh, Molson Coors. It's basically a giant conglomerate company. Uh, there were five people murdered after one employee was fired. And there's disputes about what, like, supposedly how he got fired or uh, benefits he was supposed to receive or something like that. But, uh, as far as we know, like, it, the more most important thing is that the Miller Brewing Company is, like, a, a big staple of Milwaukee. It's about as old as Milwaukee is. Well, we are the brewer city, after all. Exactly. It's part there's, of the like, 50, what is it, like, 50... Microbrews. Uh, microbrews just yeah. in the city alone. And growing. And, yeah. And that's just in Milwaukee. Yeah. I'm not talking about like no. Waukesha or no or, less. or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. That's a lacrosse brewing. has a ton of them. Brewing's in our blood. Yeah, brewing's in Wisconsin heritage. It's a big. There's thing. a running joke. We're not drunk. We're from Wisconsin. Exactly. <laughs> or we'll all drink you pretty much. But yeah. You know. All right. Um, but you know, hearts go out to them. Uh, I know that. Uh, we'll we'll just give them a. Uh, like, what is it? Brew City Brand is doing a bit of an initiative to. I think they're selling T-shirts. Uh, yeah, Miller Strong. And there's a GoFundMe. I think Molson Coors is launching for. They already shipping. launched it. I'll try and track it down during the yeah. weekend. Well, yeah, I'll see if I can throw a link in the, the video later. Um, but next, let's talk about our another goodwill mention. Our guys at WASA, the uh, Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association, they are partnered with the Milwaukee Admirals in their sled hockey group which is really cool. They do a lot of expos with them uh, at uh, UWM Panther Arena. And we had an opportunity to do it. Uh, we missed it. We're hoping to do it again. We're hoping to have them on the show sometime soon. Uh, they do a variety of sports. They fund vi a variety of sports through their nonprofit status. They don't profit a cent off of this at all. This is all to get uh, children, adults, and veterans that are uh, disabled to get out and have fun in the good old game. Uh, a variety of uh, wheelchair sports. Uh, the Bucks sponsor uh, uh, wheelchair basketball. Marquette Lacrosse does their uh, wheelchair lacrosse. They got tennis, bowling. I'm missing a like I think it's tennis, and then uh, there's goalball and quad rugby. It's a really good organization, and uh, we love uh, supporting them and giving them uh, you know a free shout out as they are and, part of our community. And they do like it. Apparently, we had another like on our page from them. So more power to them. Like we we're not asking them to do that either. But like again, it's you know we especially I as, happened to just catch a glimpse of it yesterday. Yeah, but again, just part of like right now with the uh, the current uh, tragedy that happened a couple days ago, we're all part of this community. And we all like to help out, and we all like to help each other out in the best of ways. And getting the word Doing out, even the best if it, we can. Yeah, even if it doesn't mean a donation, it gets their name out, and hopefully someone sees it, shares it, and uh, speaks good of them because they're now, wonderful. Now people. I'm going to have a WWE moment. Uh oh. And because our show is brought to you by our wonderful friends at Hockey Locker, <laughs> Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, you, Milwaukee's number one one-stop shop for all your hockey needs, right down there by Wilson Park. The oldest, too. Yep. Yeah. The yeah. oldest hockey area and store in the city. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, they're one of the very few hockey stores in the city. Yep. So, um... Um, I know we can call those guys, too. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I have it. I know it, but you guys don't. So I'm just going to tell you to call them at 414-875-85. And I think Chris knows the website, too. Yeah, it's uh, HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Yep. You can get everything from, what is it, your helmet to your stick, all the way down to the skates itself, including inline and figure skates as well. You, you can, get, can also get this lovely Nashville Predator hat. Yeah. Yep. I'm sure you can get uh, one of the, not this specific, uh, specific sweatshirt, or sweater, because this is the old Reebok, but you can get the new Adidas ones over there. Yep. And, and you can, can also get the current Milwaukee Admiral jerseys as well. Yep. Um, if you have any questions for them, do give them a call or visit their website. Hey, give us give them a mention too and tell them that from Milwaukee to Nashville sent you as well. Yeah. Yep. All right. So going into our next, our what happened today. What what happened today? Yeah, this Whoa. is the whole point of our show. Oh, we forgot to move. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 
<laughs> we forgot to move the the avalanche over. Oops. I thought you did that already. I thought I did too. <laughs> Apparently, there you go. That's gonna just be in front of the. <laughs> As you can see, the technical issue. Look at this is the the, the, the issues, technical background and, and foundation <laughs> of From Walking to Nashville has revealed itself. All right, now. Well, we don't want that up. The part of the show. We don't want the Edmonton up yet. <laughs> we want that one up. We don't want the next one up. All right. So go. on to why you're all here. Why and, are we here? <laughs> all right. So this happened. <laughs> it could have been much worse. I think. It could have been much better. They it could have been, oh yeah. even on shots on goal. They both stunk on the power play, which is typical. Yeah. Penalty minutes, they were pretty much even. Hits, they were even. Yeah. yeah. Uh, blocks were more into the favor of the Preds. Giveaways, uh, 11 for the Avalanche, 9 for the Preds. Although, I'm pretty sure a lot of that can be disputed, as we will talk about later. <laughs> Yep. All right, anyways, Dan, kick it off. Scoring the first, nothing. Scoring the second? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, scoring in the second would be entirely from the Colorado Avalanche with Gabriel Landeskog for this 18th, with an assist by Johnson, his 11th, and Gerard his 29th. And last of this period was by Martin Kaut, his second of the year, uh, with an assist by Jost, his 13th, and Makar, his 35th. Uh, I guess the third. Oh, dude, where's my car? Where's my car? Uh, oh. Oh. Now, in the third period, we got uh, Victor Arvidsson getting his 15th of the year with an assist from uh, Ryan Ellis, his 28th, and Roman Yossi, his 44th assist. Yeah. And then for the Avalanche, uh, Eric Johnson gets his second goal of the year unassisted. Empty net. Yeah. What he said. And then Kelly Yarncroak uh, gets his 13th of the year with an assist from Ryan Ellis, his 29th, and Roman Yossi, his 45th. Um, the one thing I did want to say is there were quite a few goaltender interference calls that should have been called and some that were called that shouldn't have been called. Yeah. Um, got... That goes kind of like this. <laughs> who, who was it that got sandwiched into... Uh... Frank Cohen's? Frank, yeah. Uh... That was uh, Blackwell. So yeah, Blackwell being like completely, like he didn't really yeah, do geez. anything. Yeah, France or was it Frank Hoos? Frank Cohn. Frank Cohn's. Like he didn't even do anything. The puck, as you said, like we watched this highlight over and over. You can find that on was an NHL website and just didn't even touch him. The puck went over the plane before he even touched him, and it wasn't even on his account. He was being pushed in by an app. Yep, but that's how you do it if you're going to try and do anything. Anyway, three stars of the game were like Gabriel Landis, Kong, UC Soros, and Pavel Franco. I mean, it was a battle between the goalies. I can't be mad with the two top stars being... Uh, Franco stopped 30 of 32 with a point nine three eight save percentage. Uh, do we have anybody on the crap list? Uh, Ekholm and Tenorti. Yeah. And Granlund. Granlund? And uh -oh. Turris. <gasps> minus two. You bite your tongue there. <laughs> Granlund, Granlund is now the savior. Oh, man. well, now I know why this the referee sucked. It was Francois Saint Laurent. <laughs> Explain. Um, he he reminds me of um, Furman South and Tom oh. Davis. Oh. Okay. And Dan yeah. Hohalloran was the other referee. Uh, Darren Gibbs and Travis Tume were the linesmen. Head coach for Colorado is Jared ben Bernard. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Scratches for ne for Colorado is Vladislav Kamenev mm. and Alexander Barkovsky, both injured in pregame skate. Interesting. Former Admiral Vladimir Kamenev? Yes. yes, yes or Vladislav, is. excuse me. Vladislav Kamenev. Vladimir. <laughs> Anyway, uh, scratches for Nashville, no change from the last game, was Yannick Weber, uh, Corbinian Holzer, and Austin Watson. Corbinian's the one we picked up recently, right? Yep. Did you read off uh, Sarles' stats? Because I know you uh, read off of... Yeah, Sarles stopped 28-30 of 30 with a point nine three three save percentage right, because the empty net does not count against his stats. Yeah. So, uh... 
Yeah. Up next, which not is not a horrible loss, but it's no. still a loss. Here's the thing, you uh Colorado's one of the top teams in our division. Right. We held them long ago. We kept in scratching distance. Yeah. It was still a good grind. Yeah, it was good. Albeit good some good very game. shoddy officiating, but still a grind. Yep. But we move on. And uh we're moving on to a game that you guys will be going to, I believe. Yeah, Monday's game between the Avalanche and the Ed, or the, not the Avalanche, but the Edmonton Oilers and the Predators. Going to the bridge. Yep, we'll be there uh, in town sometime today. Yeah, once we get all 500 yeah, videos You done. guys are going on the Midnight Express. They were waiting for YouTube to hit 35 subscribers, so now they can leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, anyways, let's uh, break down the Oilers and uh, send this show home, shall we? Well, you're going to send it on the road. <laughs> All right. So, first line is uh, on, for the Oilers is Andreas Antonisio. He has three goals, one assist, ten shots, two blocks, and one power play point. Uh, Antonisio was recently acquired during the uh, trade deadline yes. from yes. Detroit. Um, with uh, Also on, on that line is Connor McDavid with one goal, five assists. I believe I heard that he was injured of some kind, but I don't know. He may play tomorrow. He has uh, one goal, five assists, 13 shots, and two power play points. Um, then we have Tyler Ennis with one goal, three assists, 12 shots, no blocks, and one power play point. Decent first line. Then we've got Ryan Nugent Hockey, Hoskin, or Hopkins. Hopkins. He has three goals and three assists. Then we have Leon Dreisaitl. He has three goals and an assist. And then Alex Chassain. Or he doesn't have any. Uh, their third and fourth line, there's really nobody on fire right now. So they're kind of slow. So honestly, if you stop their front two uh, forward lines, you should be in good shape. Defensively, there's really nobody to worth mentioning. Everybody just has assist. That's I mean, about it. All you really have is Darnell Nurse. But again, yeah. on, on, on all by himself on an island. Yeah, and Chris Russell is uh, day to a uh, game time decision tomorrow. Yeah, so there's really nothing. To really and most of McDavid, about. all of McDavid's points are on the power play. Uh, so the goal is just stay out of the box. Same yeah. thing with Anthony Cio. Again, so just at this point, it's just Nashville. Stay clean as as much as you possibly humanly can. All right, so in the last five, we've got Mike Smith with a one. Oh, and two record with a 2.2, 2.62 goals against average and a 0.897 save percentage. Then we have Miko Koskin in the tree that he is, all six foot eight of him. Total Redwood. Uh, he is uh, 0 and two with a 3.3, uh, 3.53 goals against average and a 0.901 save percentage. Neither one of them have a shutout on their injury list. We've got Joachim Nygaard, Chris Russell. James Neal, Oscar Clefbaum, that's a big loss for them. Kyler Yamamoto and Mike Green. Yeah. Way yeah. to trade for that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what are your guys' thoughts before hitting the road to Nashville on this on the on these Oilers? I'm not too worried the way the Preds are playing. It's anybody's game. Every yeah. game's different. Yeah, I mean, I'm just hoping uh, Connor McDavid's healthy because it would be really nice. To comment if I wide. should sneak a catfish in. <laughs> It'll be your first and last time on the bridge. <laughs> and I hope Pekka plays Monday because that'll be cool to see him play live in person. You know. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, that's our video. Don't forget to check out our friends Let's at Wasa awesome. first. And Let's first check out our friends at. Wait, check out both of our friends. There you go. Yeah. Uh, hop, check out our, our our loyal sponsor over there at Hockey Locker. And our friends over at Wassa. Yeah, uh, I forgot to mention their website. Check out Wassa at W-A-S-A dot org for more information on their group and how to donate. Yep. Um, so subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, get us up to 40 as he 40. mentioned we hit 35 thank yeah. you 40 is a new for goal support, guys. 
five every five we're gonna try and do something nice mm. for you so every five we'll, we'll get an editorial done sometime next we also year. hit a new facebook milestone too uh, yep we'll get into that yeah. in our admiral's video yeah all right so all right. Uh, we'll see you guys later take it easy everybody <laughs>